Hey, you alright? Yeah. Uh, my name's CK and I'm going to show you a short clip of a movie that's coming out with something that I created 10 years ago. Okay, now these are the live pictures from Peckham. A lot of trouble there. It seems to be gangs of youths. A lot of people would never come to Peckham. First thing they say, oh, is, well, we're all safe on the car. You think of Peckham, yeah, you think of like. Black, black boys in hoods. It's getting younger and younger now, like people with 13 year olds having knives out in the street. What are you going to do to give a generation of disaffected young people some hope for the future? BMXing has always been big with, with the youngsters. I started when I was about 11 and um, I finished around about 18, 19. When I became a radio presenter, someone came to me and said, oh, I heard you used to race BMX. Could you give these kids a hand? And I thought, all right, I'll start it off. The council had a derelict track, which had old fridges on it, tires, bricks. They gave me 10 grand. The track's built and now we've got Peckham BMX. We've been riding this little garden backyard track and we're riding tracks that are five times the size of our track and we're winning some of the biggest races in the UK. We've had a national title, British title, a European champion and a few of the boys are in the Olympic development squad. Just being in, right in the heart of the inner city works against them but they're overachieving based on what's expected of them. Mm -hmm. I think it's excellent. I think it's, a mon I think it's monumental. It's like climbing Mount Everest. It's, 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 like, having, it's like having a Jamaican bobsled team. I see myself having a career in cycling, just taking school and cycling both ways up. He's good. Very good. And, and he's got a different determination as well. Quill is that type of person that would do anything to be number one. He might actually be your world champion. You know what? You never know. The training before wasn't just, it was just riding my bike. And then with CK, the input and training showing us how important it is and what needing to do. Now I see where I want to go and what I have to do to do it. Nationally, I would say Trey is like one of the, the top three fastest riders in England. With a lot of persistence with him and me being behind him, I would say he could be the fastest boy in England right now. The dream is to get to Olympics. Pulling, Trey, you can see that those guys are the ones that really want it. There's only one way up. Just like you guys are in school, I started with youngsters like yourself, and then basically. These guys that I train are now some of the fastest riders in the world and they come from Peckham and they come from Brixton. Now just around the corner from your school, we're building a new BMX track. Started it with zero, four kids, now I've got 45 kids, they're travelling the world and they're on the British team. We've okay. got a, um, a Facebook page for Hammersmith BMX, That's right. um, a Twitter page and a new website as well. So if you want any updates, keep track of us there and you'll be able to see when the sessions are and everyone's free to come down, yeah? And if it's possible, as long as you put your mind to it, you guys can do it. Don't be afraid. Be young leaders and become something in your community and be lifted up. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you can come any other Saturday. Just contact us. When the trick is open, you can come any time you want. I know yeah. still. Well done, guys. Well done. Nice one. Good, 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 good. Get on your bike. Got GCSE modules or cross curricular yeah. programs? Amazing. So, I mean, I'd really like to, to embed that even in our curriculum for right. next year, yeah. particularly at like key stage four, where students you tend to sometimes get that slightly disaffected nature. And we found that some of the least, you know, the kids you least expect it from were the ones that actually got the most from it. 